lose a lot. What? 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 How you talk too much? Fuck my money, y'all. Can't fuck money, y'all. Let fuck some money, y'all. What? 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 Your whole talk too much. I don't want to buy. Come on, what the fuck? Skateboarding, a phenomenon that sparked in the 1940s in California by surfers basically because they had nothing else to do in the waves of flat. In the years from 2009 to 2011, skating had a big comeback on the population of youth, which seems to almost become irrelevant after that. In the years 2014 to 2016, brands like Thrasher, Supreme, and Odd Future seem to be bringing back the light back onto skateboarding and advancing into prop culture. Out on the roads of Texas, you can find skaters under every rock. Here are the stories. Uh, when I was probably 14. When did I start skating? I started skating, I was kind of on and off about like, when I was 10, 12, but I really started skating sophomore year in high school. That's where I started. Yeah, like almost every day. Like, three years ago. Just watching uh, a bunch of friends. I was in Seattle one year with my dad, and my sister's boyfriend was skating, and I thought that was interesting. And he actually, he stole his best friend's board for me to start skating, so. Uh, my friends came over on their skateboards and they didn't know how to do new tricks, but I was just interested in it, so I um, I had a friend who he didn't have very good parents, so he was skating to get out of the house. And, uh, he, he loved it, so when I met him, that's what he wanted me to do. So I started skateboarding with him. What up, I'm Simpson. When you fall hard, <laughs> it, it definitely sucks to be out for a couple days, but the fall itself isn't what sucks, it's being not able to skate for however long it takes. The worst part, uh, getting hurt for sure, and like trying something forever and then not landing it, that's probably the worst. Falling. Yeah, falling. The worst part is um, getting hurt, the best part is just... Having fun learning new tricks. The best part is being with my friends, just hanging out and getting like clips, and skating, just just being with my friends and everything. Just uh, having the ability to do whatever you want. Just uh, that's not like any other sport. You get to be free. I think the best is uh, trying for hours and days and months to get a line or a trick, and uh, that day you find the line. It's the best thing ever. I think the worst part is. Trying for months and days and hours <laughs> and not getting your train. Um, Poser skaters usually have nothing on the bottom of their boards. Um, they got <laughs> new shoes every day. Show up at the park and just sit on the ledge, do nothing. The real skaters are the ones that show up and go hard from the beginning of the set. Yeah, there's totally uh, posers for sure. Like, not maybe not here, but like, there there are some for sure. Um, usually by the way they hold their board or. How well, what will be improper? And was right. Got it. And um, I don't know a real skateboarder. You'll see the. I don't know though. Pop down their board, they look comfortable on it, they don't look like they're focusing too hard on even just riding it. Uh, the relief. The relief is probably the best part. It's definitely, you have a shit day, you come home, just go skate, shit. There's nothing else like it to me. The openness, the lack of judgment. A lot of people nowadays are extremely judgmental. They base things off of materialistic values and with skating it's just a piece of wood and some whales and you got a group of friends. Uh, freedom of expression yes. and be able to do whatever you want and not have to worry about being judged by other people. My brother for sure. He passed away not too long ago and he was always pushing me to get better and yeah I always try to keep doing the best I can for him. Just the fun of it, going fast and um, hanging with homies. Uh, I have 
a cousin who was a pro skateboarder for Element, Sasha Daly. And uh, he, uh, I don't know, I want to be as good as him one day. Try every day, but if not every other day since I started uh, adult life. Uh, back to the whole freedom thing. You just, it's a relief. It's the only thing that keeps me calm or else I'd probably have some serious mental issues. <laughs> it's the only thing that calms me down. Um, I get to learn on my own level and I don't have to go by any rules that other things do. Um, almost every day, if not every other day. Uh, Every day, uh, almost every other day, because I got a job now, so not, not the best, but I try to skate every day. Uh, every other day, if not every day. Um, I skate every day, as many times as I can. Uh, for a complete, I think now they're going like 150 for a, a decent set of trucks, wheels, bearings, and a board. And other than that, I mean, normal clothes are... You can skate in anything if you want. Fucking new balances, whatever. Well, I mean, if you want to buy a good board, like anywhere from like 100 to like 150, I mean, you could just go get like a Walmart board or something, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. Why not? It's trash. <laughs> um, yeah, like, you know, just like 100 bucks, go get a complete at a skate shop, and then just like going out in front of your house and like practicing on the street. Uh, not too much. For like a whole complete, it's like 120 bucks. But uh, yeah, I th I'd say it's pretty cheap and it's worth the worth the money for sure. You need a skateboard that costs like hundred hundred twenty five dollars. Not really. I mean, almost every person, almost every kid in their life has it like ridden a skateboard at least like it probably at least once so whether they like had their own or it's just like a friend or something like that. So I don't think it's really underrated at all. I think it's pretty fairly rated. Uh, I, I'm not sure to be honest. Everyone's hopping on the trend of skateboarding, and it's kind of getting a little weird. So.